Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will explain how to create and customize view financial charts to visualize and compare stock prices. I will show you three different financial chart types, high-low, open-high-low close, and candle. I will also explain how to enable a few of their basic features like tooltips and crosshairs. First, let me show how to add a simple high-low series chart to the view application. I will open an existing view application where I have already added the view charts component. Here, I have imported the chart plugin from the Syncfusion EJ2 view charts package and registered the plugin globally inside the API view.use to register all child directives globally. If you would like to know the basic steps on how to create a view app and add Syncfusion components to it, click the video link in the card above. You can also find a reference link in the description below. OK, let me save the application and run it with the command npm run serve. This starts the development server and automatically reloads the page anytime I make edits to my project. Here, you can see the default chart output with two axes, X and Y, with no data points displayed. Next, I will show you how to add a high-low chart to the View app. With a high-low series chart, you can easily see the price variation in a stock with its high and low price values shown here. The top end of this vertical line indicates the highest trading price, and the bottom point indicates the lowest trading price of the stock. Now, let's see how to write the code to add this chart type into the application. To render a high-low series chart, first, I need to define an E-series collection tag, which is of type array and can contain n number of E-series definitions inside it. I import the high-low series from the Syncfusion view charts package and inject it in the provide option. Then, I define a single E-series tag with the type property and set its type to high-low. Now, I populate the stock data in the chart. I create an object variable stock data and assign an array of objects with three fields named date, high value, and low value within this data method. Then, I assign this object to the data source property and map the data source fields date to the X name property, high value to the high property, and low value to the low property of the series. I am using time dependent data on the X axis, so I will customize the X axis to be a date time axis. To enable this date time axis, first, I will import the date time module from the Syncfusion EJ2 view charts package and inject it in the provide option. Then, I define the variable chart primary x-axis and set the value type property to date time. Along with this, I will define the properties maximum and minimum within the chart primary x-axis variable to set the custom date range. Now, I assign this variable to the primary x-axis property. You can see the high-low series chart with a date time x-axis and its defined data points. You can also see the chart displaying the custom date range on its x-axis. From these data points, you can easily visualize the high and low price values of stocks across the given period. Also, notice here, the high-low series chart axis labels in the year-month format. OK, now let me set the titles for the chart and axis to enhance the chart's readability. To set the title for the chart, I define the variable chart title and set the title to financial analysis. Then, I assign this variable to the title property of the chart. Since the x-axis depicts date values, I will set the x-axis title as date time inside the chart primary x-axis variable. For the y-axis, I need to define a variable chart primary y-axis and set an appropriate title using the title property. I give it the title price in dollars. Now, I assign this variable to the primary y-axis property. See the chart output with the main title, financial analysis, the x-axis title date time, and the y-axis title price in dollars. Next, I am going to show you how to make the view charts component more interactive by adding tooltips to it. First, I import the tooltip module from the Syncfusion EJ2 view charts package and inject it in the provide option. Then, I define the variable chart tooltip and enable the tooltip by defining the enable property as true. I assign this variable to the tooltip property. In the output, a tooltip is shown for every data point on the chart. 
Next, let me add a crosshair, which displays information about the x-axis and y-axis values using horizontal and vertical lines. To add the crosshair to the chart, first, I import the crosshair module from the Syncfusion EJ2 View Charts package and inject it in the Provide option. Second, I define the variable chart crosshair settings and enable the crosshair by defining the enable property as true. Now, to only display the vertical crosshair line, set the line type property as vertical. I assign this variable to the crosshair property. Here, you can see the chart output showing a vertical crosshair line that displays the axis value at the bottom. Let's move on to the next financial chart type. This high-low open-close chart is like the high-low chart. The major difference is that it displays additional information like opening and closing price values, in addition to the high and low price values. In this example, the horizontal line to the left indicates the opening stock price, and the one to the right indicates the closing stock price for a single trading day. To render the high-low open-close chart, I import high-low open-close series module and inject it in the provide option. Then, change the chart series type to high-low open-close within this chart code. Next, I define two more fields for the existing data set, open value and close value, and assign values to them. Since the high-low open-close chart displays stock price variations with the high, low, open, and close price values, let me map this additional open value field to the open property and the close value field to the close property of the chart. In this output, you can see the high-low open-close chart with two different colors, red and green, where red denotes a falling stock price and green denotes as rising stock price. Here, this data point is filled with red to indicate that the open price value is greater than the close price value. And this data point is filled with green to indicate that the open price value is less than the closing price value. Lastly, let's see how to render the candle series chart. To render the candle chart, I import candle series module and inject it in the provide option. Then, I will set the chart series type as candle. Next, I will add one additional field, volume value, to the existing data source to provide insight into the supply and demand situation. Now, I need to map this field volume value to the volume property of the series. Here, you can see the candle series chart. In this chart output, you can see some rectangles are filled and some are left unfilled. This candle segment is filled since its closing price value is less than the opening price value. In the same way, if a candle segment is not filled, it means the closing price of the stock is greater than the opening price. In this video, we saw how to render financial chart types in view, namely the high-low, open high-low close, and candle charts with their built-in features. We also saw how to enable a few of their basic features like tooltips and crosshairs. In my upcoming video, I will explain how to add the Sync Fusion View radar and polar charts to a view application. If you would like to see a working example of what I discussed in this video, you can download one from the GitHub link shared in the description below. I have also included a link in the description where you can check if you qualify for our community license, which gives you a free license key for our entire view component suite. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.